when one actually undergoes radiation therapy, uh, it was a huge learning experience for me. Radiation conjured up in my mind, you know, you glowing in the dark, you know, for the rest of your life and setting off Geiger counters in a 20 kilometer radius. Uh, it doesn't always come with the greatest of reputation, you know, um, and it has been implicated in, in causing cancers, let alone curing cancers. So, you know, one has a natural tendency to recoil at the term radiation. The misconceptions that patients often have about radiation therapy is that they're going to be radioactive, that they're going to get burnt, that they're going to be almost infectious and they cannot go near their family or their partners. Um, that is not the reality. When they are having radiation therapy, they are not radioactive, they are not infectious. It is quite safe for them to be near their family and the loved ones that they need to have surrounding them to support them through their treatment. The vast majority of radiation therapy is given by X-ray beams coming from outside the body. So it's really just like an X-ray but with more powerful X-rays. So as soon as the machine is turned off, the X-rays are actually not there and there's no radiation left behind in the patient as soon as they walk out of the treatment room. I think a lot of people, when they start, have the misconception that they don't, they can't continue doing their daily activities because they are going to get really sick. And that's not the case. A lot of patients are able to continue working, are able to continue doing what they, they love doing, whether it's their hobbies or their activities. Patients sometimes think that chemotherapy and radiation therapy are the same. That's incorrect. Chemotherapy can affect the entire body, whereas radiation therapy generally has no or minimal side effects associated with the actual treatment. Some of the um, side effects, if they do occur, actually don't start straight off. It can be over time where they may get some localised reaction to their treatment and that depends on indeed where they're having their treatment. The great advantage, as I said, of, of radiation therapy is it's, it's, it's non-invasive and going through the actual treatment when you're actually sliding through this huge great white donut uh, for about 15 minutes and this machine clicks and grunts its way around you and it's, it's totally painless, you don't feel a thing. But over, because the treatment period lasted about eight weeks, um, over a period of time there's an accumulative pain um, in that prostate region and stayed there after the treatment had finished for two or three weeks of course whilst the body heals itself and then after that it, it, it fell away to nothing. So look, you just got to put your big boy pants on and deal with it and, um, and, and, and you do and, uh, and I've had absolutely no, no, no pain or associated pain ever since. It usually takes about 20 minutes on the treatment couch each day, but most of that time actually is just getting the patient set up and ready for the treatment. Uh, in prostate cancer, for example, the treatment only takes one minute to deliver the radiotherapy each day. After a few weeks into the treatment course, they will start to get some irritation. And with radiotherapy, the irritation depends on the area that's being treated. Patients who work usually come in the morning, have their radiotherapy and then go to work. And in the vast majority of cases, patients won't need to take any time off work and they certainly don't need to stop their usual activities of daily living.